In this video, I'll demonstrate the power of Apple's ultra-wideband technology running on a U1-enabled iPhone and a compatible third-party device. With enhancements to ARKit supporting precise location using nearby interaction, we'll guide a museum visitor to the next exhibit. I'll start by tapping Go to Next Exhibit, which transitions to an ARKit view, establishes a Bluetooth connection for exchanging configuration, followed by starting a nearby interaction session with a compatible third-party device acting as a stationary object. Now connected, we'll need to move around a bit to initialize ARKit with the surroundings. Nearby Interaction found the location of the next exhibit. By keeping the directional arrow pointed up, guides us to the next exhibit. We found it. As you can imagine, there are many useful applications for ultra-wideband technology. This is one example showing the power to tag, identify, and locate stationary objects with precision. Let's have a look at a third-party device used in this video. In 2021 at WWDC, Apple announced opening its ultra-wideband solution to third-party providers through its MPhi program. The Corvo DWM3001 CDK Evaluation Board is the latest in a lineup of solutions that work with Apple Nearby Interaction. It facilitates evaluation of the DWM3001C module that can be licensed for commercial products. The module is one of the first to achieve both FIRA compliance and interoperability with Apple Nearby Interaction and U1 hardware. It's easy to use and very versatile. The board includes a Nordic Semiconductor NRF52 Bluetooth 5.2 SOC for connecting and exchanging configuration. And of course, ultra wideband supporting both 6.5 gigahertz band five and eight gigahertz band nine. It can be powered by USB, which also serves as a J-Link connector for programming the module, an external battery, or Raspberry Pi. Please get in touch with MartianCraft if you have a need for ultra-wideband in your project or product. We're happy to help in achieving your goals.